Hello, welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for <clears throat> joining me on my journey exploring the world of pens. Yes, Noodlers makes a 16 ounce ink bottle. And yes, it is bigger than anybody has any right to try to empty. But a challenge is a challenge. So our local uh, pen provider, the pen thing, sent out a, a message on our group and said, I got these bottles, anybody want any? And I thought the price was pretty good for a big bottle of ink and I do like Noodler's inks and I pick two colors that I feel will serve me well in the future. And also when you get a big bottle of ink like this, it's also great when you send people little packages to include some samples of some inks. And now I have two inks that I think work very, very well and represent a certain aspect of the ink characteristics that can be useful. So when I first uh, started using this ink, I thought it was a great color. You can see where I am in the bottle. The uh, graphics on the 16 ounce bottle are a little different, not quite the same. But I still like it. This has been a go-to ink and recently I've uh, brought it back into use on a lot of different pens. And the label on the big bottle is the same, just a bigger version of it. And it is certainly a quite intricate label. A lot of uh, information on the label. You know, you could uh, take a lot of time exploring the 54th Massachusetts. So now I have a lifetime supply of two inks. So let's take a look at these cards and chromatography from these inks that I selected. You may hear some strange low humming in the background. They're uh, repaving the road in front of my house. So the Mass 54th is a great dark blue-gray, really on the dark side of blue-gray. At times it's going to look black. I just like it from that perspective. The other reason why I like it is it's a clean color and when it dries it's fairly permanent. You don't see any pigment movement uh, afterwards. And even these two chromatographies that I did here you can see how some of the ink stays behind even after just being on this card for a few minutes. This one dried for a day. The Noodler's Navajo Turquoise is just a great turquoise. It's, I think, my first turquoise ink, and I fell in love with it, and then had a bunch of other turquoise inks. It actually did a video on turquoise inks. The Chromatography, and I did two of these also, uh, very clean. Uh, that is a really great blue color with just a tinge of green in it to give it a little bit of interest. So that's uh, why I ended up getting 16 ounces of these inks. And it's not my only 16 ounce bottle of ink. I also have this vintage Waterman Blue ink. Also 16 ounces. Really nice cap on it. Very ornate and very well done. And then I have this uh, Pilot Blue Black, which is also an ink that I use quite a bit. Certainly uh, less than 16 ounces, but um, <clears throat> a good amount of ink in there. So now I have four pretty good sized bottles of ink. The Waterman's ink I haven't used, but yeah, who knows? Sometimes in my future, it may come in handy. So that said, just a quick look. If you'd uh, like to buy some ink, you could tr uh, contact the pen thing. I'll give you uh, contact information in the description. And maybe you can have ink to last a lifetime.
So you've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. May you find a use for all of your ink. Hopefully writing on paper using a favorite pen. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. This is the end. We're going to say bye until the next video.